Hi Leo, welcome to your February 2017 Tarot Forecast with me. My name is Brooke and welcome to Nightbird Tarot. This reading is for those born under the sign of Leo. Please watch for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign in this video. And thank you so much for tuning in. I've been absent for a few weeks from my channel. I wanted to come back and do a recap of January plus your February Tarot Forecast as well. I'm doing things a bit different for 2017. I'm doing a 15 card reading for your monthlies. And I also wanted to do a more in-depth, insightful reading. I used to do five cards for your monthlies. For those that you that normally watch for the monthly readings, I normally did a five card reading. So I'm doing a 15 card reading. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, check out my website, nightbirdterror.weebly.com. All that information is in the description box below. For new timers to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to get future updates of any new videos that will be uploaded. So let's begin, Leo. For your February tarot forecast, from January's point of view, especially now that we're in the last part of January, in the last week, many things have picked up speed for Leo. There's been perhaps a lot of travel, a lot of communication, a lot of messaging. Uh, things have picked up speed. And there's also been a lot of wish fulfillment happening for Leo as well. Many of you may be partnering up or looking towards the future with another person as indicated. A lot of messaging, a lot of good news is coming in or has come in in January and a lot of things that may be attached to your past, especially your adolescent past or emotions tied to your past which may have been incorporated with many of these things. I think Leo you've had a lot of perhaps unexpected people come out of the blue, unexpected messages and at the same time a lot of wish fulfillment, high manifestation times, looking towards the future, planning and moving ahead and really focusing upon positivity, affirmations, and good news has touched upon many of those that are watching as well. And this could be coming from people from your past. This could be coming from people that go as far back as your adolescence, your childhood, or something touched upon or in terms of your past, especially coming, I'm getting the sense, stemming from your childhood for Leo. This could even be friends that you've had for the last 40 years or even longer. Something very much touched upon with that kind of feeling. Because of these events, perhaps for Leo, you've really decided to either honor a legacy or to plan or progress forward to your future and you're starting to see results from something, perhaps especially if you have had moments of empty victories with other people. Leo perhaps has maybe dealt with a particular situation where you felt like you had to get one up on somebody else or they had to get one up on you or one upmanship or this kind of empty victory feeling of short-term winning. Many of you are turning your back on that now and looking forward and progressing ahead and starting to see results from your efforts as well tied in with that. You do have a court card, actually you have three court cards in your reading, Leo. The first one that has appeared is the Queen of Swords. This could be an actual air sign female, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. However, the Queen of Swords in particular is very stoic in nature because she's determined. And she's also very focused and she's a great communicator. There's no sugarcoating with this queen. She may come across as being abrasive sometimes, 
but she's laying down the law. She's setting the rules, setting boundaries. Many of you may be doing that in past relationships, existing relationships, or just in your life in general, stemming from these events perhaps that have occurred in January because it's given Leo a sense of regaining some form of stability, whether this is stability in feeling more centered, more grounded, as well as more focused upon anything, especially as anything tied to investments, finances, jobs, financial stability, etc. Next to the queen, we see the page of pentacles. This page in particular could be an earth sign child, but I get the sense for Leo, it's very much focused upon short-term financial gains, whether this is employment, job status, etc. Many of you may have gotten news or word about a job in January, something focused upon that. And because of this, it's enabled many of those perhaps to find another outlet of making money, receiving money. This could be another source of income as well. So something has been gained from an event or situation for Leo, especially coming out of January. Now, in terms of what possibly is coming up for Leo in February, you have two core cards, actually three core cards in a row. We see the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords, followed by the Knight of Pentacles. Many of you may be focused or entering into a relationship or an existing relationship that is very indicative of long-term, long-term partnerships, long-term investments with one another, long-term investments with a company, long something long-term for Leo that's very indicative coming up for you in February and very much focused upon. When I see core cards in particular, I don't necessarily attribute them to specific astrological signs because core cards can have many dynamics in terms of personalities, characteristics, attributes of of the person in the reading, or this could be attributes of people involved in the reading as well. So let's take a look at the first card, the Queen of Pentacles. She's an earth sign female, but the Queen of Pentacles is one who's very financially stable, very practical, kind of a homegrown, natural, organic kind of woman tied to nature, very focused, and someone who is also nurturing as well. She sits next to the Queen of Swords, Leo, and he is more of a strategist. He's diplomatic. He's a communicator. He's almost like the general of all the kings in the Tarot deck. So the King of Swords is one of diplomacy as well. The Knight of Pentacles is slow, steady progress in any given situation. There may be, for many of those that are watching, for many Leos out there, focus upon a relationship in February of slow and steady, of long-term progression. This also could be combining finances for a long-term goal. This also could be indicative of entering into business partnerships of long-term financial stability, long-term growth, etc., which is very positive. So that's a positive combination for Leo. The focus and the outcome from this is the ability to remove yourself from any situations where you feel stuck, Leo, in the month of February, where you feel stuck, whether this is in a relationship or a job or a living situation, where you have felt trapped or in this entrapment, you're going to be released. This could even be a feeling of other people's impressions of you, or this could be a feeling of miscommunication from other people. There's going to be a release of this with the Eight of Swords next to the World card. These two cards at the bottom very much tell me a release of some kind is coming for Leo where there's going to be a full circle moment, a marked period of completion, success, achievement, and growth for Leo in the month of February where there's going to be a release of this 
feeling of entrapment in something or feeling stuck. And it's one of kind of a created mental entrapment. One perhaps where you, it not may not have been necessarily an actual reality. Something perhaps that you have put too much time and focus into overthinking, overthinking that this situation that perhaps you were in was holding you back or keeping you trapped or, or other people's thoughts of the situation were in, were in enabling you to believe that this was a situation that was never going to change. That's not, that's however, not the case for you, Leo. And with the world card is a great card of release and of full circle moments and of completion. This also could be a card of travel. It's a card of achievement. It's a card of success as well. And following this card, Leo, we see the sun. So your outcome and the focus for February is very, very positive. It's one of success. It's one of good times with friends. It's one of feeling as if you're kind of pulling into the station now of where you want to be, perhaps settling, not settling, but feeling comfortable of freeing yourself from situations from the past that no longer serve you. And the lesson is over for Leo in a lot of ways and in a lot of manners, especially for those who may have felt stuck or trapped or felt that other people were trying to prove themselves or trying to get one up on you or this kind of competitive feeling. This is over now. This doesn't need to continue on anymore. Many of you have made a firm decision to move on with things, to progress and to move forward. And there's a great relationship indicated, whether this is an existing relationship, this could be romantic. This also could be friendship. This also could be on the job or career circuit as well. But Leo, you're very much freeing yourself this month in February from something that no longer matters, that no longer is of great importance. And with the Sun card, it's a great card of success. It's a great card of achievement and validation to you that better things are coming and good things are on their way. And I think it's a great time of peaceful resolution for Leo as well. So good luck to you, Leo. Have a great month in February. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this reading, please give it a thumbs up, like, like share, and subscribe. And I will be back very soon. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.